Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Vamo V3. This guy I got for $44.95 on canvape.com. Go and check it out. It's a really cheap mod and it performs like a champ. Um, this guy goes from 3 to 6 volts and uh, 3 watts to 15 watts. So you're going to get a really good vape in there. Um, I was using uh, the Joytech Evic and uh, I wanted to get into dripping. So I got myself a dripper and um, put it on the Evic, did my first micro coil, cotton wicked it, the taste was great, flavor is, is excellent, um, but I could only take it up to 11 watts on the Evic. So, it wasn't as satisfying as it could be. So what I did was I got myself this as an early Christmas present. Um, and boy, oh boy, did it rock and roll me. Um, yeah, I, I put uh, the dripper on here. I had the Igo Well all set up. Uh, I think I had a build in it that was like a 1.5 or 1.7 ohm micro coil. Um, and it was just, it, it just knocked my socks off. Like, I, I set it to about 12 and a half volts, which was awesome. Um, I'm going to show you really quick what that's like. Um, mind you, I do have Boba's Bounty in here right now. So, da da da, da big old jug of Boba's Bounty. Um, it's 100% vegetable glycerin, so it's going to throw off plumes and plumes of clouds. Um, and that's kind of what I've been doing lately is just cloud chasing, so... Hence the Bamo with the dripper. So here it is. And that's only at eight and a half watts. Let me take this up to 12.5. Now that's a good vape. Okay. Um, this guy does go up in 0.5 increments in the watts setting. So it'll go from 7 to 7.5 to 8 and so on. Um, the voltage, however, you can dial in a little tighter. You can go in 0.1 increments. That goes from 3 to 6 volts. So whatever you like, you can adjust it. It has a three button configuration. You fire it. I've got the water trunk. And, um, you can change it to show the resistance of your coil as well as the battery remaining. Uh, if you hold down the left button, that will show you your battery. Um, the right button will show you the resistance and that's all you need. You can go into the sub menu and hold down these two top buttons and you can, you can change it from variable voltage to variable power. Um, you can turn your LCD on and off. So if you want to stealth vape, you can. Um, if you're, if you're on, on the run from the cops and you're in a field and you're ducking out and the cops are coming and the cherries are lit up, you can turn this thing, get the LCD off and vape it and no one will see you. Have I used the stealth mode? Never. So, but it's there if you want to use it. Um, you can also change what shows up on your screen when you fire it. So, you can change it from having your, your wattage or your voltage to having your battery uh, remaining or showing the resistance of your coil. Um, I like to have my power, my, uh, my wattage showing so when I change something I can quickly fire it and see what's on there. Um, and that works for me. Really simple layout. One thing I gotta say is it's heavy. This thing is just a beast. Like it's a monster to carry around in your pocket. Right now it's the winter, so I've got, you know, a big North Face parka that I wear and it slips into my pocket and it's fine. But in the summertime, if you're wearing shorts and a t-shirt, this might not be the most convenient thing to carry around with you, especially if you got a dripper. Uh, remember, don't drip and drive. Uh, it could be a problem. But uh, yeah, this thing's like a scepter. Feels like they should make a movie about this thing where... Where, where someone's trying to get the king's scepter and it's in a tomb and but anyway it's really nice unit it's got this little knurling in it and it's great um i've heard that this gunmetal or black chrome can wear off 
or flake away, kind of rub off with time. I've been using this for about a month and a half and it shows no signs of that. And you know what? Performing the way it does for 45 bucks, even if it did, it wouldn't really hurt my feelings a lot. Um, as long as it kept working. So it works really good. Check it out. 45 bucks for the Bamo V3 at canvape.com. There we go.